Before you arrived, the Ing had stolen a device from us, one that collects planetary energy. With it, they have weakened our planet to the verge of collapse. But fortune smiled upon us this day, for the energy transfer module is now bonded to you. With it, you can help us, help us restore our world. You are our only hope, Samus. It, how does he know our name? Should we fall, the Ying will look to the stars for new planets to ravage and conquer. Your species could be their next victims. The Ying have taken our energy to three temples on Dark Ether. Find these temples and transfer the energy from them to our own. I have updated your map system with the location of another temple. There is knowledge there that can help you on your way. I have also updated your translator module. You can now access devices and doors coated with violet holograms. Many lens are now open to you. The translators do count for percent. That's item number two. Prepare well for your journey. The Ying now know you possess the energy transfer module. They will try to recover it at all costs. Return to me once you have restored the energy to a temple. I will aid you as I can. May the light of ether shine upon you. Okay, now I get an energy refill. Alright, scan number 32 is Umos. And these guys are highly advanced. Uh, Luminoth, they're called. Uh, this guy's 215 years old. Which is the same as the number of scans in the game. <laughs> I wonder if they did that on purpose. Alright, so this is a big glowing ball of energy. I'm sure a big glowing ball of energy like that could not exist in real life. Scan 33, Origins. It is told that the Luminoth were not born of ether, but of the stars. In the early days, we roamed the greatness of the void, bathing in the glorious light of a thousand stars. We met a vast number of enlightened minds, the Inkren, Yila, and the Chozo among them. Each of them, we found, had claimed a homeworld and formed a deep bond with it. In time, we decided to do the same. Okay, that makes no sense. You can't just live in space. It doesn't work. Y you have to start with a home world. You like, you just can't survive in space unless you have technology to do that. And when you evolve as a species, you don't have technology like that right away. So fail. Alright, so I can now open doors with violet holograms and read lore entries with, um, that are coded violet. Pathway to Aegon. Now, scan 34, light flyer. It zaps occasionally, not a big threat. Except that I'm not fighting it right. Better to stay further away from it. Alright, I can't get in there, so... Well, I can get up. So I'm going to have to ignore that for now, even though I hear a power. Going down, and yeah, light the green when you go down.
Okay, this is a place I've been before. Yeah, I was on the other side of this door. Now it's open. Yay. I can also go in here now since I have missiles. The splinters in this area from now on are, I think, all going to be dark splinters. Splinter... Oh, oh wait, I can shoot them before they... Oh, I should have realized that. If I'd shot more of them before they were possessed, they would have been easier to kill. So you'll see a lot of stuff getting possessed. And also a lot of stuff that has already been possessed. Here is an item you really, really like to see. An energy tank. Item number three. Energy tank get. That would have been really useful in battle against the Alpha Splinter. Beyond this door, the path to the Aegon Wastes lies. Once fertile plains, now sand scorched and ruined by the war. May life thrive there again one day. Alright, scan number 35, J. Fynn's Testament. I have no idea how to pronounce a lot of these Illuminati names. Final entry, Warrior J. Fynn. Their army swells. Beasts and rogue machines join the ranks of the Horde, all eager to bring death to the Luminoth. The Ing sent these new additions to the industrial site to do battle with me while they watch from safety. Cowardly mongrels. My only regret in death is that I did not live to see the day of their defeat. May it come soon. So this is the first key bearer lore entry. Um, they, those entries will come in important. Missile expansion back here, item number four. Ten missiles, much better than five. And a Luminoth floor entry. A scan 36. Our heritage. Our search for a home took us through the cosmos. For many a great cycle we roamed, yet a place to call our own eluded us. In time, we began to despair, feeling the search was in vain. We considered remaining among the stars until a scout returned with news of a world unlike any other. When we first beheld Ether for the first time, so great was her beauty that we forsook the stars forever to live upon her surface. From that day forth, the Luminoth were of Ether, our blessed paradise. Well, it looks like the planet has took a turn for the worst, taken a turn for the worst since then. It doesn't look like such a paradise now. Alright, and this will take me to Aegon Waste, which, besides this, is, besides the Great Temple, the first major area of the game. I 
Here's scan 37, Aegon Bearer Pod. And these just have stuff in them. Free to get stuff. Simple enough. Hey, that rhymes. Shoot to get stealth. Simple enough. <laughs> 